Spud's credibility has been called into question. Well, no, not, not only my credibility, because I actually, what uh, the chief, I take a offence to a word, chomp. Do I don't you? like it. I don't like it. But that's yeah. true, though. So yeah, you can't yeah, exactly. Yeah, but not <laughs> but I, I take offence to it. Well, bad luck. Right. What about Pearly? <laughs> but but, but your, your credibility has been called into All question. Right. We what need to go with you this. You don't yet know, and we'll tell you after the break. Oh, not okay. another one. Purple. You said to me just uh, as we were preparing for today that you wanted a, a couple of minutes just to bring something to the boys' attention. For uh, uh, p- uh, So, Purple, what is it that you're wanting to discuss here, please? Oh, it no. just involves my good friend uh, Danny Frawley. Now, yeah. 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 yeah, listen. Very. Yeah. I, me and Spud <laughs> have got back together. Don't <laughs> you dare blindside him, Warrior. It's just your good. The way you what? do it. You, <laughs> you <laughs> strafed him yes. two weeks ago. Oh, and yes. now you just and it brought washed us, hands hey, and everything. It brought us together. This one's been <laughs> unannounced. Normally there's some warm-up and there's been some uh, a precursor. So this one's come out of the blue. Oh, it's, it refers back to your playing days. Well, and I just oh, want to, I want to delve minute. back, back into oh, the... Pop, I'm you're safe here. You're safe. You were, I want to go back to reproach. the 80s. I'm and, safe here, Spud Ricketts. <laughs> <laughs> well, if it's him talking, I am. <laughs> how do you reckon it was... How, how would you rate your career? Just so we've... Just, and talk seriously if you can. And, and pick um, yourself up if you need no, to. No, I don't have to pick myself up at all. I would have... Um, in one word, a competitor. And that's about it. Yep. Very not, good. Not very, in, very good player, Warrior. Yeah, uh, I know. Don't you dare try no, and beat I, him now. I know Warrior, he was, guys. I beat, know he was. From the, started from the Bungaree days, beaten but never defeated, <laughs> with, the, with the way um, to describe me. And, and you mentioned Bungaree. You, you didn't make their team of the century. No, that's right. You might have the, um, the, oh, the grand stand. No. No. But you didn't make that. Didn't okay. make the Saints. Why you win Didn't the, make uh, the Saints. The, <laughs> the pencil, the HB pencil award. The typewriter. The quill award from bloody... HB land didn't make the uh, St Kilda team of the century. Oh no! Oh, no, no, no you, you didn't. Know you we did. know that. <laughs> Where's this going? Did you? You had a couple of accolades, didn't you? you a couple. You, you sort of one personal individual award Decorated came your way, didn't it? At least one from a St Kilda Footy Club perspective. Best and fairest. Yeah. Best and fairest. Eighty-eight. Yeah. Was that your best year in, in footy? That was it. Look at that was it. You, well, you, and you came across a lot of good friends. At can't take that away from you, uh, Spud, I'm telling you. I come across a few good friends, yeah. Yeah. Would yeah. Nicky Winmar be one of those friends? Good friends? Yeah, we yeah. We're, we we played together. Sometimes friend, uh, footy clubs, you, you force friendships. We had, Don't yeah, overthink we, it, Spud. No. I don't think he was a good friend. He was. Really good friend, yeah. quite close mate. Yeah. yeah. One of the better players you've seen at the club. And would uh, I'm, I'm biased. He yeah. would go down as the top one of the top... Two, three Indigenous players that I played. I've seen play the game of football. Kicked uh, 10 on Silvani one day at Prince's Park. Champion player, champion bloke, uh, Nicky Winmar. And, mm. and you won the one best and fairest in 1988? Big build-up. 88, I think sure I did, yeah. That. 88, yeah. Pretty I, I, sure I think we all right. I'll put it this way, the ball was down there a lot because I'm pretty sure we finished on the bottom that year. <laughs> well... Last Thursday night, Nicky oh, Winmar. Oh, no. What? On the Mangrook footy show. Don't. Don't. Unannounced, yeah. unprovoked. What? Oh, no. Was asked about his own career and how he'd won best and fairest and felt that he should have won a few more than what? he actually did. And again, he wasn't set up. It's, I just want it's, it's, people now to listen going? to it's what Nicky God Winmar God. said <laughs> two days ago on the Mungrook footy show when he was referring to his own best and fairest. I haven't heard this. When you're playing at St Kilda, you won two best and fairest. Yeah. In only your second year, you I were the leading won, goal kicker. Four. They gave him Danny Forley because it was his last year in the contract. <laughs> and, you know, like, they felt sorry for him. They gave him the, gave him the best and fairest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. They felt sorry for you. Oh, come on. Well, so sweetener. you won a award like at St Nicky Kilda. I like Nicky a lot. <laughs> oh, he told a little oh, no. fibby there. It was a lie because... Well, uh, you had a contract that year. And, and was it like a Michael McLean, Nathan Buckley thing at Brisbane? Oh, come on, Spears. i tell you what. I um, was out of contract. <laughs> what is and, this? And it's it's a contract sweetener. No, it wasn't. Oh, <laughs> the great late... Oh, you, you're out of contract, Collingwood came. I'm not having this. 87, I was out of contract. I signed a three-year deal. So, <laughs> yeah. so Nicky's right. No, no Nick, Nicky's wrong. Because I won the BNF in 88. Mm. Yes. The start of 87, at the end of 87, I signed a three-year deal. I'm which so- means 88, 89, 90. I'm out of contract. So I was halfway 
one year into a three year deal. What have you got there, Gary? Go to at Triple M Footy. Someone's posted a photo of Spud and Nicky oh. at the best and fairest oh. in 88. Oh. Spud's got the bungaree oh. haircut. Oh, no. And I think those chompers, oh, no. I think you might have had them done back then. Oh, no. Oh, no. Look at the oh, Paul McCartney no. haircut. Oh, We've got oh, a no. real Dunny oh, Bowl no. haircut. Oh, what is that, Spud? <laughs> Give us a look at that. <laughs> That's uh, you, don't look, you and Nicky. I'll tell you when that is. That's at the year plug on the brown low. I can, <laughs> no, I remember that. That was uh, yeah, 1987. Uh, just get back to what Nicky said. He, he didn't think you were worthy we told, of the best and fairest. No, we told he was. He was he, Gil McAdams on the show. They're good mates. They would have said, "Let's throw Spud under the bus." I don't think it so, happened that way. Is that right? Yeah. Well, do you want to go back through the annals of the St Kilda history? <laughs> Let's get Nicky on the phone. Can get we? him on. Get him on. I'd like to get him on. Snorkel <laughs> at Triple M Footy. That photo, by the way. Tell him Spud. I'll tell you what. If that's what you brought to the table, I know we rated. We rated pretty well this very well. book. Very okay, well, a few people well. are looking for the AM station. You start bringing that crap. Hey, <laughs> Warrior. My, my favourite bit of that whole exchange yeah. was as soon as Warrior alerted to what he wanted to talk about, which was Spud's playing career. Spud said, "Oh well, I'm safe here." <laughs> and, I, um, and I agree, one hundred percent. And rolled very comfortably off Spud's tongue. Mate, sometimes in radio land and TV land, you make things up a little bit. Nicky was making oh. that up. Oh, and he was a great player. Can't speak up half of Who was this? Well, get him on. Who was the CEO at the time? Let's get him on. Mm. CEO. Travis well, the great Bates, late Daryl Baldock was coach. I know that. No. Um, um, yep. I would have thought you were a worthy winner, Spud. Oh, Look, okay. I can't. I was playing in that league era. up, Spud. And I know. I was now. robbed three times. Well, runner, <laughs> up, runner up three times. 80, I'll tell you one, one, oh, one year robbed. I was robbed. Now he's going. 85 was my second year. What happened? Got beat by two votes. Who by? Who by? Paulie with the Baldy Morwood, and then he went to Sydney the next year. Oh, and I so he was out of contract. They tried to keep they him that way. Too. Ripped him off. <laughs> well, I, well, yeah. I, ran, I won that one. We research on St Kilda folks that won contracts, then uh, won best and fairest, then <laughs> left. <laughs> and the contract one was a lie because I did. I signed in the end of '87. Vividly, I remember that for three years. And what because Gabby Allen came, Rob, Rob three times. No, no, no Gabby Allen come up to the farm. What are you up now, the old man made Gubby Allen and the late Bob Rose stand on the spud harvester for four hours. And well, I was never going. I was never going to Collingwood, but he just said, I'll get four hours of work out of these And that, big, in 87. Big big the other, oh, I'm not sure. You could have played the 1990 premiership. It didn't really get to that stage. The other two years that you... Yeah, who robbed you the off, other two? The other, Rob? Um, Plugger? Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> they were a bit better than me. Come on. No, I was only one. <laughs> 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 oh, I love it, Spud. You're a star. Oh, hey, we need to get... <laughs> Is that the best you got? I was getting worried about 15 minutes ago. For I would have non... told you if it was a reasonably yeah. worried. <laughs>